हाई एवरी वन हाई मैं दुर्गा श्री मुड़िया डी माई मेट्रिक नंबर फोर टू थ्री टू जीरो जीरो सेवन नाइन फोर वन डी नाउ आई एम टॉपेंट्स ऑफ पर्सिंग डिप्लोमा और डिग्री एट यूनिवर्सिटी नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट आफ्टर सी जी प्लस मिले से एस पी एम सीम्स इन डिफरेंट टू रिसीविंग डिप्लोमा और डिग्री डी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी एफ मेनी ऑप्शन फॉर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी विद इंक्रीज फॉर ग्रेजुएट्स Why most graduate student for various job opportunity prevents the distraction of future student. Student uh, will have successful life pursuing a diploma or degree at a university. Are uh, getting higher in a competitive job market. You can be assured that employers are likely to hire you for your tertiary qualification, especially. in knowledge based industries like programming or academics filling in the knowledge gap for working adults for working adults one of the many good reasons for purchasing further studies is to develop more advanced skills are given the opportunity to a bigger knowledge base so that they can upskill and strong problem solving abilities the opportunity to a bigger knowledge base so that they can upskill and stronger problem solving abilities your confident for your success it's most of our confident in mapping out our career path while applying for industries we have studied for of pursuing a diploma or degree at a university it's acquired them with a critical thinking creativity and problem solving skill that will a diploma or degree pursuing graduate student expose so many different people with so many characteristics some of who end up being your very close allies Thank you. Hello everyone. I extend my warmest welcome to each one of you. I am Ravina. Today I want to give a speech regarding to how to persuade the student to enter university, provide information, ensure that student get accurate and up to date information on university programs, scholarship and employment opportunity. Share data about the advantages of a college education such as increase earning potential and job opportunities offer financial guidance many students are concerned about the cost of attending college give information on financial aid scholarship grants and student loans show them how they can reduce the cost of higher education showcase alumni success share success tales of university graduates who have gone on to achieve great things in their fields Highlight how their education was critical to their success. It would motivate students to pursue higher studies. Promote flexibilities. Mention the flexibilities of university programs, including part-time or online learning option, to accommodate students with different schedules and obligations. Discuss personal growth. Highlight the personal development and growth that comes with attending university. Mention the potential of self-discovery, confidence building, and critical thinking development. Describe how university will enlarge the horizons. Offer guidance. Throughout the decision-making process, be a resource for students. Give advice on selecting the right university, choosing a major, and navigating the application process. Stress lifelong learning. We emphasize that education is a lifelong journey, and a college degree is just one step in the process. Foster a growth mindset and commitment to continuous learning. When persuading students to study, always remember that it should be based on the students' individual interests and needs. Their role is to provide you with information, support, and guidance to help you make informed decision. about your education and future in unity we find strength thank you for being a part of this speech that's all from me thank you
Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Akram. I'm from Comoros. I'm 19 years. So today I want to share with you uh, this topic. The topic is uh, how to how to persuade uh, student to enter university. As we know, life is an exciting adventure filled with crucial choices that will shape your future. One of uh, one of these uh, essential choose in uh, is choose is uh, the decision to pursue her education at university. It is a significant step that open the door to a multitude a multitude of opportunities and uh, possibilities that uh, I wish to share with you today. So now I want to explain the advantages and uh, the opportunity for this the topic. Uh, the first is uh, improvement of career opportunities. The university can be can open can open door to higher playing job and uh, broader career prospects. For example, many profession choices doctor, engineering, lawyer, and more, okay, university education. And more, acknowledge and the skills. This, the university studies offer the opportunity to acquire special, uh, specialized knowledge and the particular skills in a field of uh, interest. For an instance, a degree in computer science provide, uh, provides skills in the programming and uh, software development. And Greetings everyone, my name is Siti Norgatija. I will be your presenter today. The topic that I will be presenting today is the important in pursuing higher education after SPM. There is a growing trend of young people opting to work instead of furthering their higher education. Many are attracted to jobs that offer quick pay and flexible schedule without having to further their education. But what they don't realize is that higher education brings a lot of long-term benefits. The Minister of Education announced that almost half of SPM students from 2021 choose not to further studies. The proportion of students opting to enter workforce instead of pursuing further education has steadily increased in recent years. In 2018, the figure stood at 20% and rising to 30% by 2021. Okay, but what is the benefit of pursuing in diploma? Firstly, lower entry requirements. If your SPM result wasn't that satisfying and discouraged you from continuing your study, know that poor SPM result doesn't mean the end of your future. Searching for the pre-university program among hundreds of course in Malaysia after SPM, which is CJ Pelajar Malaysia, is like finding a needle in high stack. However, pre-university program like A-level require a higher academic score in SPM to enroll. For students that who did not perform in SPM, they can consider taking a diploma course which require a minimum 3 to 5 including a pass in Bahasa Melayu, History, and English. This provides an opportunity for them to continue with undergraduate studies afterward. Secondly, shorten duration of study to enter workforce early. As mentioned earlier, a diploma is equivalent for the first year of undergrad degree. This means you can immediately enroll at year 2 above your undergrad degree. One thing to note, however, is that diploma program has longer duration which typically takes between 2 to 3 years to complete depending on your field of study. Nevertheless, this is still speed up for your completion of your time, your undergrad degrees program because the diploma course has already fulfilled the first year academic requirements. Lastly, students are eligible for PTPT and loan. Investing in theory education can amount to a hefty sum of money. 
diploma and eligible for government financial loan like PTPTN which means Perbandangan Tabung Pendidikan Tinggi Nasional. Keeping in mind, tuition fees, accommodation, food and travelling expenses, having the option to apply for PTPTN will relieve your financial burden so that you can have a peace of mind while achieving your education of dreams. You can you only have to pay off the loan once you have completed your studies. Thank you for listening to my speech and I hope you all the best in the future. My last note quotes for today is it's not all about perfect but it's all about effort. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Sakti Suresh from University Selangor. Today, I'm here to discuss the topic of utmost importance, how to influence SPM students to continue their studies for a diploma or a degree at the university. Encouragement of our young talents to pursue higher education is essential for Malaysia's future because education is not just a personal success, but also a catalyst for societal advancement. First and foremost, we must emphasize the undeniable benefits of higher education. Obtaining a diploma or a degree opens door to a world of opportunities. Graduates are more likely to secure better job prospects, earn higher salaries, and enjoy more fulfilling career. In today's competitive job market, having a higher education qualification can give our SPM leavers a significant advantage. It's not just about earning a piece of paper. It's about acquiring the knowledge and skills needed to excel in their chosen field. To influence SPM leavers, we need to address the financial concerns. Many potential students are deterred by the perceived high cost of higher education. We must ensure that they are aware of the various scholarships, grants, and financial aid options available. Additionally, universities should consider offering flexible payment plans to ease the financial burden. Education is an investment in the future, and by providing financial support, we can make it accessible to a wider range of students. Another crucial aspect is guidance and mentorship. We must establish comprehensive counseling and mentorship program in schools to help students make informed decisions about their educational paths. By offering guidance early on, we can help SPM students understand different study of option available and align their interests and aspirations with the suitable degree programs. Along with these useful strategies, we also need to establish a welcoming and inclusive learning atmosphere. Universities should ensure a varied and inclusive student body, enough resources and facilities and programs that accommodate different learning styles and requirements. Students are more likely to succeed academically when they feel encouraged and appreciated. Lastly, we should encourage a holistic approach to education. University is not just about exams and textbooks. It's also about our personal development, networking, and extracurricular activities. We should emphasize the importance of a well-rounded education that includes participations in clubs, sports, and community service. These experiences enrich students' lives and help them develop valuable skills beyond the classroom. Influencing SPM leavers to pursue higher education is not just about individual success. It's about building a brighter future for our nation. Together, we empower the next generation to reach new heights and contribute the prosperity of Malaysia. Thank you. In a word rhyming with opportunities, choosing to enter a university can be one of the most impactful decisions a student can make. Here is a concise essay on why higher education is worth considering. University education is a gateway to a world of possibilities. It opens doors to promising career prospects, offering graduates a better job opportunities and higher earning potential. In today's competitive job market, a degree is often a prerequisite for many professions. Beyond employment prospects, university nature personal growth. They foster independence, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills, preparing students for life ch challenges also. Exposure to diverse subjects, cultures, and people broadens horizons and enriches one's understandings of the world. Universities also provide a unique networking platform. Students from connection with peers and professors which can lead to lifelong friendships and valuable career contacts. Moreover, 
specialized knowledge and skills gained in universities give students a competitive edge in their chosen fields. Research and innovation flourish in these institutions, offering students opportunities, opportunities to contribute to groundbreaking discoveries. Financial concerns should not deter aspiring students as scholarships and financial aid, program, aid programs make higher education accessible. In conclusion, universities are not just about degrees. They are about transformation, empowerment, and a brighter future. Entering a university is a decision that can shape a student's life positively, offering, offering them uh, the tools and opportunities to thrive personally and professionally. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nurul Islani Binti Kamsha and I'm from a uh, bachelor degree in uh, TESA. So today, I would like to uh, point out my points and elaborate more about it on the topic has been given by our lecturer. So the first point is uh, knowledge is more important. Why this is important is because even you have the stable job uh, or salary, when you pursue on the higher education, we you get you will get more. Uh, than you have now because the more knowledge you have the more salary or uh, a salary you get so this is why the importance of higher education uh, because not all the SPM uh, certificate are value nowadays for a job vacancy when you study for higher education you will not only get the knowledge itself you will also get the new experience on what field that you take for example if you taking in education uh, uh education field you will go for the practicum when the practicum uh, ongoing you will get more experience and this experience and knowledge will bring you more and advantage of uh, the vacancy uh, of what you want my second point is uh, this uh, the importance of uh, for you to pursue on higher education is because uh, you will expose to new people and new culture so you will learn of how the university or higher education life and environment so you will get more uh, knowledge and also you will get idea of how these people survive on higher education not only uh, money but also on how they study for their courses uh, for example we may have uh, some rural and uh, rural and uh, area and urban area so they might have a different uh, living style so that's how you can know and get uh, to improve yourself for better by exposing uh, to uh, new people and more people in higher education it makes your life better and you can improve your weakness where you can bring and ask for that uh, from them and learn from them to improvise yourself for a better thing so when this uh, thing has been uh, improvised in yourself you can make yourself better and get a better job vacancy so this is why important of uh, this SPM leftover to pursue on higher education hi and hello everyone whoever watched my video in this video, I want to tell all of you, especially for students who just finished SPM CJ Pelajaran Malaysia, why you all should continue to study in IPT in government or or private. But before that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Johan Zabafta Biramli, and I'm continuing my study in University Selangor. But before I want to talk about why the reason all students should continue, first, I'm just curious why a lot of students, especially male student doesn't want to continue study after SPM and prefer to go to work or getting a job earlier because before this a lot of students struggle to study hard to get a good result so they can get to continue study into IPT because in the late 80s and 90s and even before the lot that a lot of students want to continue because that time whoever continues to study to IPT will guarantee get bright future 
and that also hard to get into university when that time they have a few universities so get to get there need get a great result or excellent result in SPM but start from 2019 a lot of students after SPM they don't want to continue study from the study and from survey by the Department of Statistics found that about 319,000 or 72.1 percent of SPM graduates did not want to continue their study into IPT so for that it must be have several main factors that make that make them not interested in continue their study to university and when I make research it's like most young people think that studying at university is not a guarantee or getting a better job in the future and it's also because they think they are there are many opportunity job through the key platform especially by influence by the being by an influencer for example like insta famous or tiktoker in social media and now this trend still continue from 2019 until now 2023 which many quitting to work many new jobs are currently offered through gig platforms such as e-learning service food delivery through various online applications like food panda grab and other application in the long term career prospects are difficult to maintain because of the new labor that is always available and can be replaced at any time many teenagers follow to become content provider they are a social media influencer who are thought to be able to get rich or live easily or to get money immediately so assalamu alaikum i am monal islam i am from bangladesh so today i am able to explain how to persuade students to enter the university uh, the importance of higher education so my dear friend life is an exciting adventure filled with crucial choices that will shape our future one of these essential choices is the decision to pursue higher education at a university it is a significant step that opens the door to a multitude of opportunities and possibilities that I wish to share you today. Through the discussion, I want to present you several compelling arguments in favor of university education. So, and I want to present my argument with three topics and hence of career opportunities is number one topic so attending a university can expand your access to well-paying position and a wider range of professional opportunities for instance numerous careers including those medicine engineering law and various others necessity a university level education so the second topic is increased knowledge and skill development. Pursuing higher education at a university provides the chance to gain specialized expertise and hands-on abilities in a chosen field. For example, a computer science degree equips individuals with programming and software development proficiency. The third point is personal fulfillment. Attaining a university degree can serve as a source of professional gratification and notable accomplishment, contributing to heightened self assurance. So, I am to tell you lastly when you making your decision keep in mind that your journey is distinct and i value whatever choice you ultimately decide upon nonetheless i argue you to reflect on these points as you ponder promising opportunities that higher education can present that's all for today and thank you everyone for watching